higher. Let's discuss about theory by Thurston and classical theories of intelligence. Intelligence has been a controversial topic throughout psychology's history. Despite the substantial interest in the subject, there is still considerable disagreement about what components make up intelligence. In addition to the questions of exactly how to define intelligence, the debate continues today about whether accurate measurements are even possible. At various points throughout recent history, researchers have proposed some different definitions of intelligence. Now, uh, let's look into a definition of intelligence. Do you know what is intelligence or can you define uh, intelligence? Yeah, according to Robert Sternberg, the mental abilities necessary for adaptation to, as well as shaping and selection of any environmental context is termed as intelligence. Intelligence involves some different mental abilities including logic reasoning, uh, problem solving and planning. While the subject of intelligence is one of the largest and most heavily researched, it is also one of the topics that generate the greatest controversy. Um, various theories have been advocated to explain the nature of intelligence. Uh, considerable attention and effort has been devoted to find out whether intelligence is a single ability or it consists of multiple abilities. Whether there is only one type of intelligence or there are several types of intelligence. These issues led to development of different theories of intelligence. There are mainly three approaches or theories of studying intelligence. And they are namely psychometric approach, information processing approach, then cognitive developmental approach. Now let's look into what is psychometric approach. Psychometric approach describes intelligence as an ability or aggregate of multiple abilities. For example, two-factor theory of Charles Spearman, fluid and crystallized intelligence of cattle, Thurston's primary mental abilities that we will be discussing right after uh, this slide, Guilford's structure of intellect model based on uh, factor analysis, Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence. And the second one is information processing approach. It emphasizes on the process that we use in problem solving and other intellectual tasks. For example, triarchic theory of Robert Steinberg, pass model of J.P. Das. And the next one is cognitive approach. It emphasizes the functional significance and development of intelligence. For example, Jean Piaget's theory of intelligence. Now, let's discuss about Thurston's intelligence theory. So first of all, we need to have an idea about who is Louis Leon Thurston. He is an American psychologist who was instrumental in the development of psychometrics, that is the science that measures mental functions. And he is the one who developed statistical techniques for multiple factor analysis of performance on psychological tests. His principal work, The Vectors of Mind, that was published in 1935, presented Thurston's method of factor analysis to explain correlation between the results in psychological tests. Thurston rejected the idea that any one factor had more general application than others and evaluated all factors influencing performance on a given test at one time devising new statistical techniques to perform the factor analysis. His studies of intelligence using these techniques led to the primary mental abilities test, 
which measured components of human intelligence such as reasoning ability word fluency verbal comprehension facility with numbers spatial visualization and rot memory multiple factor analysis that was conducted in uh, 1947 uh, one of his major work as we would say uh, was an extensive rewriting in 1952 thurston moved his laboratory for psychological measurement from chicago to the university of north carolina chapel hill where he served as a professor of psychology until his death he scored his greatest triumph when he extended spearman's failed factor theory of intelligence from one common factor to more than one common factor that is multiple factor analysis in the process he transformed factor analysis from a substant or oh, a substantive uh, theory into a general uh, scientific method susceptible to widespread abuse now louis leon thurston suggested that intelligence is a composite of seven distinct primary mental abilities his approach was different from spearman's theory of general intelligence rather than focusing on a single factor of general intelligence as suggested by spearman thurston 1935 pointed out that intelligence consists of a number of primary mental abilities he recognizes the diversity of human abilities using improved statistical techniques he developed a new factor model of intelligence he analyzed the intercorrelation of the scores of 57 tests on a large group subjects and identified seven factors these factors were called primary mental abilities or pma please note it these factors were called as primary mental abilities or pma now let's look into the descriptions of these seven primary mental abilities and how it can be tested first one inductive reasoning inductive reasoning is the ability to find rules or logical reasoning ability it is the ability to find general rules and principles from a given information it involves the ability to deduce a general principle from a specific concept now i hope that the meaning is clear to you this ability is measured through various tests like number series word series and classification of words or numbers the inductive reasoning tests may involve selecting an appropriate number or image according to the sequential order of given numbers or images series now let's look into the second one that is memory rote memory the ability to memorize and recall simply we can say memory means the ability to memorize and recall it is the ability to memorize events list of words mathematical formulas dates definitions etc it refers to the ability of the person to quickly memorize the various concepts of phenomena and retaining them for a longer period of time various memory tests like asking the participants to learn uh, nonsense syllables and uh, their ability to remember them uh, could be a measure of their memory test, memory factor the ability to recall the learned concepts by the students during uh, the exams and largely uh, dependent on uh, this primary mental ability factor now the third one numerical ability the ability to solve arithmetic problems it is the ability to use numbers with speed and accuracy to compute answers to mathematical problems it measures the speed and accuracy of computational skills 
It can be measured by checking the accuracy and speed of person in solving various arithmetical problems. Fourth one is the perceptual speed. The ability to visualize details rapidly. It is the ability to perceive or grasp perceptual details quickly and accurately to see differences and similarities among things. Tests like picture recognition, rapidly crossing specific letters from the series of numbers and finding particular words in the paragraphs are used to measure the perceptual speed factor of the person. And the next one, verbal comprehension. The ability of reading comprehension, define and understand words, concepts, ideas. It also refers to the ability of the person to understand and use various words, sentences, language or other verbal content pieces. This ability can be assessed through vocabulary tests, jumble word tests, and verbal or reading comprehension tests. Now let's look into the sixth primary mental ability proposed by Thurston. Spatial relations. The ability to understand relationship, the ability to visualize and manipulate different geometric patterns, forms and imaginary, uh, imaginary uh, objects in space. This ability comes into play when the person tries to understand the manipulation of various real or imaginary objects in space. The test that measures this ability involves solving various kinds of puzzles, understanding various geometric figures and identifying the correct mirror image of the object or choosing the correct image of the object when it is rotated by different angles yeah and the last primary mental ability proposed by him it is the word fluency the ability to produce words rapidly that is to use words quickly and fluently in performing tasks like naming word rhyming solving crossword puzzles when person is asked to rapidly speak several isolated words, sentences or other verbal content, then verbal fluency abilities involved in this task. This factor is responsible for the communication skills of the person. The test to measure this factor may involve asking participants to rapidly think of words that begin or end with a specific and to conclude, Thurston views each of these mental abilities as independent of each other. Each of them can be assessed separately and there cannot be a single score for intelligence. He suggests a cognitive ability profile for the individual rather than a single IQ score. On further research of his multi-factor theory of intelligence, Thurston added two more factors in his seven primary mental abilities and these are the deductive reasoning factor it involves the ability to accurately understand a specific phenomenon or a concept from generalized principle various aptitude tests are available to test the deductive reasoning of the person that includes the various set of set statements and the person has to choose the best possible logical solution according to the given statements. And the second one is problem solving ability factor. It refers to the ability of a person to solve various general or aptitude problems. This factor can be assessed by analyzing the individual's responses to various hypothetical problems and their ability to reach the conclusion. So the basic seven primary mental abilities are inductive reasoning, memory, numerical ability, perceptual speed, spatial relations, verbal comprehension and word fluency. I hope you have understood.
the topic thank you